All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Thank y'all so much for coming over now. You know, I'm pretty sure by now a lot of you guys have seen and heard about the whole uh, Tyreek Hill situation uh, or seen the, you know, the body cam footage. Uh, me personally, I feel that there can be two wrongs in this video of the body cam footage. I believe there are two wrongs. Uh, first and foremost, I believe Tyreek Hill should have been a little more cooperative. And I do think that that one cop was being a little bit too aggressive, you know? Uh, so I wanted to watch uh, Shannon Sharp and Chad Johnson on their nightcap show uh, I wanted to show you guys what they have to say about the situation. Um, cause my whole thing is like, you're on your way to a game. Uh, I, I believe he was like super close to the stadium. It's like, get your ticket. Cause you know, he was doing a reckless driving. I forgot what, how fast he was going, but it's crazy too how all of these, a lot of these sports players, I remember Derrick Rose got in trouble for it a long time ago. Like the whole speeding situation, I, I'll never understand it. Uh, but I feel like a lot of times they're like, hey, look, it's me. <laughs> it's Tyreek, you know me. Um, Cause if you put yourself in that situation, just a regular person, you know, but, I do feel like the cop was being too aggressive. Because uh, if you watch his press conference, like without the body cam footage, you'd be like, damn, that's messed up. Then you see the body cam footage, and you're like, all right, hold on now, Tyreek. <laughs> you know, you got these tinted windows. <sighs> but we're going to watch what they have to say. And uh, I'll chime in afterwards. All right, we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Damn, man. That was the entire body cam footage of the, the arrest. You hear him say they knew who it was. It was it's Tyreek Hill. Um, he later said that he was he was speeding and and uh it kind of escalated, it escalated from there. Um it look it appears to me, Ocho, and I could yeah. be wrong. You 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 tell yes, me what you're thinking. Is that they asked for it? They asked him to roll the windows mm -hmm. down. He rolled the window down just enough, I guess, to give him his driver's license and registration. That's all he's required to do. He doesn't have to roll it all the way down, just so the 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 officer can have visual contact right. with him. He gave him his driver's license and his and his uh, registration, right. and he rolls the back windows up, back yeah. up. Um, it's tough because. He knows who he is, Ocho, because let's he knows who that is. He knows that's Tyreek. We hear him say they know that's Tyreek Hill. The officer is like, wants to remain. I want to have visual contact right. with you, Ocho. Okay, we talking. I got visual mm -hmm. contact. You got your window down enough where right. I can see you. Now, it looks like I could be wrong, but it looks like he has 10 yeah, tinted tinted. windows. Yeah, in Miami, you know, we, we allowed the 10. Uh, and so it looks like I, I guess the officer is taken into account because you have to understand the officer is taken into account. He rolls the window back up. Now I no longer have visual contact with him. Yes. Yes. So, see, right, right there. I'm just saying you're on your way to the game. You're about to play. I, I just don't. I don't know how hard it was to just roll the window down and communicate just just so you can get your ticket and get up out of there that's that's where i'm kind of confused at you know although you don't have to you know that the cop and and you know i could like from from the body cam you could you could kind of see in the car you could see because he had the white beater on you could see tyreek but i just just thinking from a communication standpoint 
like, just roll the window down, man. Get your ticket and get up out of there. Once the window goes back up, then the cop's like, oh, you want to be disrespective and not talk to me like face to face? Because Tyreek was like, stop knocking on my window, man. Why you don't be knocking on my window like you crazy or something he said like that. So, <sighs> mm. Okay, take it from there, and then I'm I'm, I'm gonna piggyback uh, <laughs> off of you. Go ahead. I mean, when when it, when it first started, obviously, license registration, roll your window down. Tyreek upset about them knocking on the window, yeah. obviously aggressively in aggress an aggressive manner. But when the cop initially walked over, if I'm not mistaken, I saw Tyreek hand him the driver's license. So at that at that point, right, right, Tyreek yeah. rolled the window back up. Now, as, as an officer, right. I understand that it is Tyreek Hill, but I don't think any I don't think a civilian if civilians don't get any grace, then I don't think they're gonna give Tyreek Hill any grace to allow him to roll his window back up. Right, right. So where up. he can't have any lose visual, visual, visual contact, contact with him. Even though Tyreek is in a threat in this manner. Officers, I'm assuming, yeah. have to always stick to protocol regards to who the person is. Right. But I would, I would, I would have liked my dog. Understanding you got a game. You know how authority is already. You know how cops are in general. With all the situations that have gone on, countless years, back to back to back to back to back, just this one time. You know, but I got a game to play, bro. Here's my here's my license. Here's my registration. Get your ticket and go on about your business. Boom. Get your boom. That's what I'm saying, man. Just just keep just keep that window down, man. It just it didn't even it didn't even have to get to this. Cause like I said, when I heard the press conference, my mind went somewhere, and then you see the body cam, and then you're like, ah. You know, although I do think they were being too aggressive, that the one cop, like, he was pissed. He was pissed because <laughs> he felt so disrespected, man, you know. And it seemed like he was pretty much the main one with that energy. But what Chad just said right there is so important, man. If you, if you, let's say if you feel a certain way about cops, and you know how they are, then just, just, you know what I mean? Ticket and going about your bit, let's lock in on the game. You feel me? But, but, but cooler heads didn't yeah. prevail. Then, you know, your, your teammates getting into it, yeah. you know, obviously, rightfully so. But shit, hell, if I, if I, if I was a teammate, I would, you know, I pull my black ass over too. What's the problem? Yeah, for sure. I've been in that situation where, like I said, we got into a brawl and my teammates and they're telling us to back up because at that point in time, police got to make instant. Oh, yeah. They got to make. Yeah. And see, even, even though they're saying that you're, you're not supposed to do that. Of course you want to be there for your friend, but at, at a lot of times, I mean, it's saying a lot of times, like when you, uh, like with the body cam footage, I watch, like if you approach a cop, you got you to gotta remember this. Like, even, even, I'm just saying, because it's protocol, even if the cop noticed a guy approaching and he's like, oh, that's his teammate, you still have to follow protocol and be like, yo, you need to back up. I forget the distance, but you have to back up. You can't be within, because I'm just saying, let's say this isn't Tyreek Hill and these aren't football players. Do you allow these random people to approach you? You don't know what they got on them, nothing like that. Uh, so I'm just saying, like, they could have did what they did from a distance. They, it's not like the cop was going to be like, oh, there goes teammate. Let me get him out of these handcuffs, you know? Yeah, this seconds. yeah. They like, oh, see, you have the luxury of sitting back here watching mm -hmm. it. But imagine how his antenna goes up when yes, he's sir. there. And we, we assume, like I said, he doesn't have that luxury. Once I lose contact with you, Ocho, I don't know if you go into the glove box. I don't know if you go into the middle yeah. box. I don't know yeah. anything. I want to maintain visual contact with you. That's why I said, you heard what I said mm -hmm. last night, and you heard me say it many, many years right. ago. My job 
it, when I once I get pulled over and the police have made contact yeah. with me, my job is to get him to my car, back to his police car or his motorcycle, and on his way as quickly as I possibly can. Yes. I know the longer he remains there, the greater the chance is for something to yeah. escalate. Yes. Yeah. Big facts. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's like, look, and think about this. I, and, and I want people in the chat. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. Think about how people hate on you, and they don't have any power. Mm. Do you realize when that man or that female pull you over side yeah. the road, they got all with the, the power gun, with the badge, yeah. with the gun, with the badge. I'm not arguing with you. I, I can't. I, I, you're, 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 you're the lawyer. You're the judge. You everything. I'm gonna take my chances in court, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna take my chances in court as a live yeah. person. Yes. I don't want my family trying to de trying to defend what transpired. Mm -hmm. Now. Nah, yeah. I need to be there to tell yes, the story, sir. not you tell it. Now, I knew what was going to happen. I knew this. They were going to say, we asked him to roll down the window, and he was defiant in rolling down his winter in a window in a timely manner. I knew that was yeah. coming, Ocho. Yeah. I, knew, I knew that was coming. You know that. I know that. That's why I get, I'm get. i speeding. Hey, it's mm -hmm. happened. I rolled down my window. I, when he comes, I got it waiting yeah. on him. Yes. Hey, you ain't got to ask me because it's right, it's right over right. my visor. I got my drink. And you know what was also crazy too in his press conference before the video came out, he said, I was all, uh, I was taught, my mama raised me a certain way. My uncle always told me, keep my hands on the steering wheel, be respectful. And like I said, when that video came out, like, dude, by him just saying, I mean, just saying, don't be walk, knocking on my window like that. You, you hear him saying that and it's just like, oh man. Like this did not have to get to where it got. Um. Yeah, what they're what they're saying right here is extremely, extremely important. You guys want to go your separate ways as as quick as possible. Big, big, big facts. I was licensed in my bag. I got the insurance mm -hmm. right there. There it is, right there. It didn't even, it didn't even had to go to that though. You talk, you, you talk about abuse of power, you know, even as officers of the law, understanding who the individual is, understanding that the individual is no threat. There's a game. He was speeding. I don't think he was yes. late. He couldn't have been late because the other player. No, he wasn't late because, player, because Kaleos, we, we had Kaleos on today, huh? Ocho. We had Kaleos yeah. on today. He said it was around. They have to be. The, they had to be there by 11 because the game is yeah, at 105. Two, two hours before the game. He said it was around 10, 18, 10, right. 20, okay. something like that. So he's a good two and a half, two hours and 30, 245, yeah. and the stadium is a block mm -hmm. away. Mm. And that, that, that's unfortunate, man. A little, a little, a little aggressive, though, for me, too, huh? Um, oh, for a sure. Little too, a little, a little yeah. too aggressive. I, I, I wish there was a cop there that, that could have de-escalated the situation a little bit, a little bit better, you know, to, to allow cooler heads to prevail. Just a little too aggressive and, and abusive of the power that they did have. To put behind the back and to put the knee in the back and like, come on, come on, come on now. Come yeah. on, man. You know, but it's unfortunate. <coughs> it's okay. unfortunate. Yeah, so they're pretty much thinking like I am. Um, like I said, I've been watching a lot of body cam footage. Um I live with a cop, for those of you who don't know. Um, I heard a lot of stories, you know. Um, I don't think he was resisting. Once they, once they got him out the car, I don't think he was resisting. Um, that's why I was saying that the dude was being a little bit too aggressive. But like I said, it didn't even have to get to that, you know. It's just one of them things. Like I do feel like it was like, look me, look, it's I'm Tyreek Hill. Like you guys know who I am. I play football. Like, like come on. I just don't. I just don't know how hard it is. Like me, the times, the few times I've been pulled over, my window was down already. Down already. You know, it's not like your windows aren't tended. That may have been a different story. But comment below, man, what y'all think about what they had to say. All right, peace out.